Hello my little storm clouds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little cozy nook area that your sims can just chill in. You do need dream home decorated to do this exact way. There is slight other ways you would be able to do it without these seats. But for this tutorial, I am showing you with the Dream Home Decorator Pack. Before we begin, make sure you have bb.moveobjects turned on. If you don't know how to do that, I'm just going to really quickly go over it. If you already know how to do that, I'll put a timestamp to skip to and you can just skip. If you're on a PC, press Ctrl, Shift and C and this white bar will pop up in the top left hand corner. If you are on a console, go ahead and press all four shoulder buttons together at the same time. If you don't know what the shoulder buttons are, it's the back buttons on the controller. All we're going to type in is bb.moveobjects on. It's all one word other than the on, so just put a space. And then you just go ahead and press enter. I'm not going to do it because I do have a mod on. But once you press enter, it will disappear. But then you need to get rid of the bar. For me, I press Control, Shift and C to get rid of the bar again. And all four shoulder buttons if you are on a console. So that's the only cheat we need for this. So I'm just starting off with a wall here just because it's nice and easy. And then off this wall, I'm going to draw a three by three room. So now we have something like this. I'm just going to go ahead and paint that. Now we want to use an archway. I do want to use one that is on medium wall height. So I'm going to change mine to medium wall height because I really want to use this one from Realm of Magic. I just think it looks really, really pretty. And we're just going to place that in the center. I'm going to go ahead and change the color for this one with the moon and stars in it. I'm also going to place a window. I'm using the matching one and I'm just going to place it on this outside. I don't know where I want it height wise yet. I will decide that soon, but I'm just going to place it down so it is there. I'm just going to paint the walls. I'm using a lot of book nook kit for this and also paint the floor. So then we have something that looks like this. Now we want to go to the kitchen section and go to the cabinets and we're going to use a half tile cabinet. If you don't know how to get a half tile cabinet, what you want to do is select which cabinet you want to use so you can go for any sort of one depending on the colour. So I'm going to go for this one, the Salvadoradian cabinet because I want a dark brown. And if you click on the swatches, this is how it will look. You'll get this little cog wheel. Just click on that and then this appears. Now we've got this, the half tile one, which is this little shorter one here. This is absolutely great because Sims can just walk through this so you can use it for all sorts. I've used it a lot in the past with other tutorials. So now you can place these anywhere on the wall. Like you can drag them up and down. I'm not clicking anything. I just have hold of it and I can just move it up and down with my mouse. And we want to place it at the bottom of the room. This normally works if the walls are up. If it's not working, I'm not sure what it could be. Like I said, the cheat I have on is bb.move objects on, but that shouldn't make a difference. And I'm gonna place a few of them across the front. And then I'm gonna place some on the side as well. I don't want them to overlap like this because I'll show you, you get this weird glitching and you don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is hold Alt and you will get free placement and it gives you this nice smooth thing. And I'm just gonna line it up to that one. And I'm going to do the same here and go on the other side and do the same. Now for the back, we're going to get some overlapping. I think I'm going to hide the back anyway, but if you do want to fill it in, a little trick so you don't get that glitch in like this is hold alt and just hover it slightly above like this. So look, with now no glitching, but it looks like it's almost flush. Right, you need a dream home decorator for what I'm doing exactly. You can use a normal couch technically, but this works a little bit better. I think it just looks cooler, even though technically it's not functional to read on. And we're just gonna raise it once and I'm gonna push it back slightly. You need at least half a tile away from the archway because anything that's behind an archway isn't accessible. So even if you put like a bed there, it wouldn't be accessible because it classes it as a door. I know there's a little gap here, but we're gonna solve this in a moment with a table. So I'm gonna grab a dining table and you just want a nice long one. So like this, cause it goes all the way across the back would be great. Select a color that goes with what you've got going on. And it just looks like you've got a little shelf behind there. And you can place items on here. For the bookshelves, I'm using the ones from the book note. And what I'm gonna do is size these down cause they're just a little bit too big. I'm gonna change the color of them. And now what I'm going to do is raise this up till it's just sat on top of the thing, just like that. You can even move it slightly across if you're not happy with it glitching into the thing. And now you'll notice these snap to each other, so you might find it difficult to place another one next to it. What I like to do is find the placement, I'm sizing it down, and then move my mouse down a little bit, not too much because if you do, it, do too much it moves away. But if you move it enough and then hold Alt, you can move it. 
And then I'm just gonna use my nine key to move these next to each other. And I'm just repeating this. I'm actually gonna swap one of these out for the one that doesn't have as many books on. Just so we've got one that looks a little bit different and it doesn't look too repetitive. Let's just raise that up. And you can also change the color of one of them. So like this one, so you've got different color books there. You could go ahead and do another row on top. You could even do the shorter ones if you didn't want to do it all the way on top, but do the same method as holding it down here and just raising it up using the nine key to do it because otherwise, like I said, they're going to snap together. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this again on the other side. I'm pretty happy with everything in here. I'm just going to raise this up once. Just so when we're looking in, this is what we see. And I'm going to add some decorations to this table. They will just snap nicely. You could add a few more books on here these really cute items from the book nook kit like the little storybook house i think it's really adorable and i love this item here what i do with this item is actually place it on top of the couch just near the foot so, so just raise it up till it is sat just on the edge like this and now we have this cute little reading nook which i know like i said technically they can't <laughs> read sat on here which is super annoying why can't they read while they're lounging on this it doesn't make sense to me so to me this is just an area where they can sit but they can actually access this bookshelf here and this one here and grab books off and sit somewhere else but this to me is more just for looks for some final details i'm going to go ahead and add some little curtain lights in here and i'm just moving them slightly forward so they're not like clipping through the door or the archway and I just think they look so pretty when you look through and you see the little lights coming down. How cozy that does look. So I'm going to get my sim to come over here and just test they can get in here. So I'm just going to have her teleport and then I'll get her to lounge on here. Oh, there we go. You can see she's just going in there just fine. And I'll show you she can get a book. But she won't sit there to read it, which is so annoying. Like, why can't you lounge and read a book? It doesn't make sense to me. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.